So you're facing the camera and your head's towards the window? Perfect. So I was told, apparently, come back so you're centered on the camera. Thank you. All right. I was told this is a completely illogical position to ever like find yourself in. And I try to explain, I find I get here quite a bit, right? Where the beginning position might be Kent's and bottom mount. And doing the escape, he simply gets on his side, shoves my leg between his leg. The completion of this escape is he just continues to shove my legs between his legs. Hip switches into a half guard, he gets a knee shield, and now I have to deal with all of this. So that's a pretty textbook mount escape. Me as the um, attacker, the aggressor who's in top mount, I need to recognize that, that there's, a, there's gonna be a moment where the more this leg gets pushed through, I'm gonna lose the position, and I'm gonna get a mm -hmm. to deal with his guard again, pass his guard, blah, blah, blah. So what do I do? Well, there's a rolling back take that you can do from there. And depending on who you do it to, you might have to vary it a little bit. So if I do it to Jesse or Matt, I have to vary it a little bit because they know what I'm doing. But if you catch someone by surprise and do it really, really quickly, um, you can kind of get away with just the basic version. We'll cover the basic version first, and if you have a problem, we can cover the advanced version. So everyone knows the, uh, the position I'm in. It's kind of called quarter guard. Yes, I have, he has only a quarter of a guard from my ankle to my knee. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a 180. So he's facing the, the mural that's heads that, that way. that way, yeah. So now we get like the, the rear shot, right? Because what's going on here with my feet is really, really important, right? So the foot, the camera can see that's stuck between Kent's legs here. My foot's like shaking. I need to engage that foot, those, those toes. And I have to hook it over top of the person's shin. I just can't be lazy here and leave my foot loose. I need to really hook my toes, right? To really do the move properly, I need to then, this foot needs to come over, it needs to like cross on top. I need to think about like just crossing my feet, right? Notice how I've had to walk my hands all the way over here now? I'm not anywhere near Kent's head, I'm not even facing him. What I have to do is, I have to shoulder roll over this shoulder, and I have to aim to grab that foot, not the foot I'm hooked over, the other foot, right? There's a reason why. It's just to control both of his legs and both of his hips. So it's a really exaggerated move where I'm diving under. See that? My arm goes all the way under and I grab the foot. From there, I just simply fall on my hip and we end up here. Kind of like a 50-50. The only difference is my hips are little bit lower than his hips. My hips are closer to the mat than his. So all I have to do is that initial leg that was hooked on his, on his shin, I just have to straighten that leg. And magic takes place. That's it. That's all you have to do is a simple butt flop and a leg straight and a very purposeful and a very deliberate straightening of your leg. So we're gonna do that again from the same angle. So you've been fighting or rolling with your opponent. He, you had him in mount, but he shoves your foot between his legs. Don't sit here forever and think about it. Just hook, cross your feet. So I'm just taking this foot and I'm crossing it over the Achilles. Walk my hands until I can see his foot. I have to see the thing that I want to grab. Die until I grab it, right? From here, I just have to like think about just falling onto my back. You'll feel your partner's hips on top of your hips. If his hips get down near my hips, it becomes like a 50-50, right? From here, all you have to do, that foot that was hooked, just straighten the leg and grab them as they come up. I want an over-under grip, a seatbelt grip, and I want you chest to back and head right on his shoulder, right? Should be a very clean and very, um, you know, strong back control. I'm not too high and I'm not too low. So get with your partner and let the insanity begin. Let's go.